Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tropical Club. My name is Louis, and I'll be presenting to you the top great cafes in the northeastern part of Singapore. The top great cafes in Pongo, Singapore, are quite the hotspot of their own, spreading across the coffee shop Sengkang, Selita, Bangkok, and the northeast region. Looking for a delicious brunch menu or dinner menu and wanting to indulge in your sweet tooth instead, Lola's Cafe and Wela's Yard are your share bets. Wanting to ditch delectable cafe food and settle for a cup of coffee, the Apollo Coffee Bar could be your refuge. Whatever you're looking for, there's bound to be something for you at these great cafes in Northeast Region, Singapore. At 10 spot is Tutu Cha at Waterway Point. Started off as a humble dessert kiosk, Tutu Cha has since grown and expanded to 14 outlets across Singapore. Coming the market leader for Thai beverage and desserts, Tutu Cha launched in 2015 also kickstarted the Thai milk tea and Shibuya toast trend in Singapore. In 2018, Tutu Cha launched a fresh bistro dining concept in Bullet Point, which features an expanded range of halal Thai food offerings. This comprehensive dining space in Bedok features an extensive menu, which not only includes Thai delicacies such as Thai boat noodles, Thai beef noodles, and Thai tom yum noodles. Other communal dining dishes such as clay pot tom yum mama, tang hoon prawn, and Thai stir fry are also available. Find them at multiple locations island wide. Coming at number 9 is Chow Kyu Cafe, Dog Lovers Rejoice. A new dog cafe has recently launched in Salita Aerospace Park. If you are not familiar with the location, this is where the famous Summer House is located at the nearest MRT station will be issued. However, do know that you will need to take a bus to reach the Salita Aerospace Park. For dog owners, you'll be excited to know that Chow Kyu Cafe is also a spot for grooming, pet boarding, care center, and dog training. Chow Kyu Cafe is an effort by a group of dog lovers with the intention to provide a place for dogs to live life to the fullest. They aim to do their best in providing comfort to these fur kids. You can find them at the 16th Oval Salita Aerospace Park. In 8th spot is Buddy Hoagie's Steak and Grill. Buddy Hoagie's Cafe and Grill was established in 2004 as a cafe in Nisun South Community Centre. The name Buddy Hoagie's is derived from word Hoagie's, the Philadelphia slang for the Subway Sandwich, and the American rock and roll icon Buddy Holy. Initially focusing on its Hoagie sandwiches, Buddy Hoagie's came to be known for its great steaks and western cuisine. In a comfort venue, for friends and family to gather over a casual dinner or special occasions. Within its walls, you will always be able to find old records and memorabilia of the great music legends of old, a quiet tribute to its namesake. Find them at 3 Amokyo Street 62, link at Amokyo. Coming at number 7 is Seed Park Container Restaurants. Nestled in one of the most remote parts of Singapore, this cargo container park plays off the usual beat and brings a touch of quirk to the rigid little island. Before you go ahead and dismiss it for being miles away from civilization, you should know that this park was actually built for a good cause. Known as the Pongo Container Park, its actual name is Social Entrepreneurship and Eco Park Development Seed, an initiative by Social Innovation Park to build a more inclusive and sustainable world. Each container bistro here carries a social mission and unique concept. Bring yourself on a journey to the age of Pongo and you'll be surrounded by colourful metal boxes, each boasting a different type of cuisine. With seven differently themed affordable restaurants converted from shipping containers, a perfect spot beside the river to hang out with friends and families. Find them at 50 Pongo East, 8288-26. Closing in at 6th spot is Mary House. Mary House Playground and Cafe operates within Singapore's Oasis Terraces Shopping Mall at 682 Pongo Drive. Open since June 2019, the playground and cafe offers a fun and entertaining place for families to visit. The outlet has a playground for the little ones to play in, or the adults can supervise the children from the cafe area next to it. On the playground cafe menu are various types of delicious treats to brighten the day, such as ice cream and waffles, in four exciting flavors and topped with fragrant roasted almonds or a dash of rainbow sprinkles, and yuzu osmentus cake featuring tangy and zesty juzu made with smooth and light cream. They are located at 681 Pongo Drive, 
01-3-35. In fifth spot, we have Apollo Coffee Bar. Apollo Coffee Bar is somewhere that you return to for brunch or coffee again and again, very much like Atlas, Luna, and Columbus. The team behind these four establishments is definitely on the right track to becoming the biggest and most popular cafe operator in Singapore. The space, like most cafes, is simple, modern, and clean. Grab a seat surrounding the central coffee bar or head out to the wild lead backyard. Find them at 65 Serangoon Garden Way. At the fourth spot is Lola's Cafe. It's cozy inside. It smells of grapefruit and freshly ground coffee. You must have with you anyone and everyone who matters to you for maximum enjoyment. When Lola's Cafe was first conceptualized, there was one binding thought that was not to be compromised. Lola's was going to be a playful and casual environment where you could get honest, unpretentious comfort fare in the company of great friends. They insist to serve only the food and drinks made with great love because food served from the heart is the most delicious. Ranking at third spot is Whisk and Paddle. Whisk and Paddle offers some of the best Western cuisine in Singapore, serving a tantalizing collection of dishes that are suitable for casual dining and group gatherings. It is an ideal place to enjoy a cup of freshly ground coffee along with some pasta, pizza, desserts and more. Located along Tabing Lane, this Riverside Cafe provides a tranquil ambience to make one's dining experience relaxed and truly memorable. Whis and Paddle serves all day breakfast and hearty meals till late. You can also enjoy an ice cream beer under the stars at their veranda at night. Check them out at 10 Tabing Lane. Coming in at second is Soksing 1954 Bicycle Cafe. Soksing 1954 Bicycle Cafe is a hidden cafe that is situated far from the hustle and bustle of the city. The owner is a vintage bike collector who proudly displays his beautiful vintage bicycles all around the cafe. Besides that, having a meal at this bike cafe is a unique experience in itself. Diners are able to watch private airplanes take off from Seletar Airport, which is located just beside the bike cafe. However, as one of the most ulu or remote cafes in Singapore, is it really worth the effort to make all the way there for a meal? Well, definitely. Because watching the planes take off from the airport or you tuck into a mix of Western, Japanese and local dishes sounds very relaxing and worth the experience. Find them at 80 Seleta Aerospace View, Major Aviation Building. Last but not least, at first spot is Wowseed Cafe and Bar. Nestled on the countryside plains of Seleta and atop a gentle hill of Telo Blanca, Wowseed offers freshly roasted coffee, flower cakes and pastries, hearty weekend brunches and casual all-day fare. A home away from home, Wowseed Cafe is where you can truly escape from the city with your friends, families and pets. They can be found at Level 1, 3 Park Lane, Silica, Aerospace Drive.